Hey everybody, Dr. Sanderson here. Welcome to the second unit in our course where we're going to be looking at Facebook. Uh, you know, Facebook is a really interesting platform because there's a lot of mixed views on Facebook. I mean, clearly it's the most popular social media platform just by stats alone. It's been around the longest. Um, but there's a lot of people who are getting sick of Facebook that um, some even who think that Facebook is dying, even though I, I think that's a little far fetched. Uh, but you know what's interesting about Facebook though is that there are some really great business tools um, that are pretty economical for companies to be using. So uh, in the readings, you know most of the readings are actually Facebook's own uh, material on how to use Facebook for business purposes and, and do marketing on Facebook. Um, and I think really for most businesses, especially those that are in travel and tourism and parks and recreation, the fact that there's so many people on Facebook, I mean, I, I think it just about has to be uh, an essential social media platform to use because that is the platform where you're going to reach the biggest number of people. Now, definitely you can segment, you know, millennials, you know, definitely more on Instagram and Snapchat. There's a certain audience you can reach on Twitter. Uh, and after we get through each of the platforms, we'll kind of talk about, you know, how do you then make them all work together? Uh, so in this unit, a um, couple things that you'll be doing. First is in the, in the discussion forum, you're going to find a company that's in parks, rec, travel, or tourism, and uh, make sure they're active on Facebook, which means they post at least twice a week or more. And what I want you to do is just spend some time kind of observing and going through their timeline and their posts and get a sense of what they're doing. And then in the discussion forum, there's a series of questions that you'll be asked to respond to. But, you know, basically what, based on your observation, and you don't, again, you don't need to go through two years of posts, but I would say just, you know, maybe the past two, three, four months, you know, just depending on how frequently they're posting. Um, you know, if they post every day, you probably don't need to go back six months. You can probably make your, your judgment, uh, you know, just going back a month or two. But point being is, what do you think they're trying to do with Facebook? Are they trying to engage audiences? Are they trying to drive traffic to their website? Are they showing products and services? So just kind of get a sense from a, from a business perspective. If someone asked you, like let's just say you pick Southwest Airlines, what is Southwest Airlines trying to do with Facebook? That's the question I want you to answer. There are some other questions as well you'll need to answer. You know, for instance, how many of the posts roughly um, are using photos or video. So one thing you'll find with Facebook and really all social media now is that you really want to have a very small uh, percentage of your posts that have no visual element in them because the less you do that, um, people aren't going to uh, be engaged. I mean, we're, in a, we're living in a very visual society right now. And so the more visuals you have, the more engaging your content's likely to be. Um, so I look forward to your responses there. Um, the deadlines are the same Thursday for your initial post and then Sunday uh, for your two response posts. And then finally, uh, in this unit, you're going to just uh, submit a brief narrative. I'd say maybe 100 to 200 words somewhere in that ballpark of the company you're going to use for the final project to do that consulting uh, document. So, um, you know, just again, provide a brief overview of the company and why you're, why you're selecting them. Um, and that'll be due by Sunday. Uh, just keep in mind as well that if you're having trouble finding a company, um, let me know and I'm happy to, to help you find a company that you can use for the final project. Remember, again, you do not actually have to reach out to the company. I mean, you're more than welcome to do that, but this is not something you need to like get their permission for or something. This is more just to um, get you experience so you know what a consultant does uh, when they go into a company to talk about social media. So um, let me know if you have any questions. I'm looking forward to a great week and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks.